Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are building a Setite Temple, and this is the build I'll be entering for Funcom's Temple of the Gods contest. There are some pretty nice rewards, and the competition is open to consoles and PC, so do take a look at the contest page in the pinned comment if you haven't already, and that's also where you'll find the mods used in this video. Firstly, of course I started off with the base plate. I'll be honest, this is quite a confusing base plate, however, I do have a blueprint for you, and that should hopefully make it much easier to understand. This build isn't too big, I'd say it's roughly medium sized, but the asymmetrical design did make it a little harder for me to follow the blueprint, and that's considering I made the blueprint myself, but overall, it wasn't too bad. Feel free to screenshot the blueprint if you need to. I built the base plate from sandstone foundations, and I used stone brick foundations for the sections marked for the exterior of the build, as I'll be going for a really rustic, Stygian inspired design for this temple. Next for the walls. I'll be using sandstone again for the walls, mixing in a healthy amount of window frames along with walls and door frames, though I would later replace all the door frames in this build with stable gate frames. One of my main criticisms of sandstone is that it often creates a really saturated oppressive environment within the build, so to alleviate that I'll be including a lot of verticality and open air design within this build to make it much more attractive and break down that monotonous atmosphere. On the base level, the walls will be two tiles high, though they'll raise and lower across the build as you climb up to the sacrificial tower or down to the prayer room, though two tiles high is a good base measurement for how high I built the walls on each section. I also placed the shrine of Set ahead of time so I could get the measurements correct. At this point I hadn't added any of the mods into the game, so the construction of this temple is entirely vanilla, it's just the decoration that is modded. Next I started on the ceilings. In the Stygian style I'm including a lot of flat roofs on this temple. As you can see, I'll be leaving the snakes of the Shrine of Set poking through the roof, which I hadn't really planned for but it actually worked really really well. I'll also be including a small tower on the right side of the ground floor to reach the flat roof. Given the size of the build on this area, I'll be, of course, running into some stability issues, which are very easily remedied by just placing pillars on the ground floor. I also left a small hole next to the tower and created a small 2x2 two two room on either side above the shrine. I used sandstone fences across the roof to add some safety, though I later replaced the sandstone fences looking over the shrine with flotsam fences, which still offer that degree of safety but also make it much easier to look down on the shrine. Next, I continued to build the walls up for the approach to the sacrificial tower. I wasn't 100% sure at this point how I wanted to build the roofing over this section, but in the end I opted to leave it open air, which was a pretty good design choice. I continued to build the walls up for the tower, though again I would later replace the sandstone doors with stable gate frames. I built the prayer room walls three tiles high and then started to build the staircase in the tower, which ended up being quite the ordeal. I could have just built a regular tower, but of course, me being me, I decided to instead be difficult and go for a receded staircase design with verticality elements built into the tower, which, as you may have guessed, presented tons of issues with stability and practicality, though in the end, I did manage to get it to work. 
I had to use pillars regularly to support this structure, and I also included balconies after the third tile and receded the overall size in by one tile, which, again, added to the nightmare that was building this tower. I built the tower a total of six tiles high, leaning up to a ring balcony to look over the temple. This tower was really difficult to build, and I have a feeling I haven't explained it too well, but it was worth it. It adds a nice bit of flair to the design, and it just puts that cherry on top of this build. Finally, I built the roof over the prayer room, leaving a small hole in the roof. I then finished off the open roof section above the stairs to the tower, and I then built the architectural accents across the outside of the build, marked by the black tiles on the blueprint. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Depending on where you construct this temple, you could change the entranceway in different ways. For this build, however, I decided to build a walkway around the side of the build to the entrance. Entering the temple, I've lit the build with hanging and wall braziers, along with small sticky embrasures inside some of the Setai cult statues. The immediate main feature is the shrine room, where a Setai priest gives a sermon to her congregation, as the underpriests behind her undertake a stoic prayer. The open roof of this section allows the sun to shine directly through the room, which is really quite a nice feature.
Heading upstairs, the roof is mostly traversable and includes extra seating above the shrine. The semi-ring balcony also allows for a nice level of verticality looking down into the shrine room. The tower itself looks over this area of the build and provides some nice vistas across the desert. Heading through the left door, there's a small social space here for the worshippers to sit, drink and relax. Heading up the stairs and to the right we reach the quiet prayer room. This small room includes heavy natural elements and is where priests or worshippers can quietly pray to set. Next, the Sacrificial Tower. This is where various items can be offered to set under the clear view of the desert sky. This tower has quite a complex design that works quite nicely, and the accents on each balcony allow for extra verticality, as they are hollow and can be seen through from below. The roof above the prayer room and over the tower entrance is another small social space and looks over the lower sections of the temple. Finally, the sacrificial tower provides some impressive vistas over the build and the nearby desert. And there we have it, a Setite temple in the exiled lands near the Sentinels. Thanks for watching, this was quite a complex design that of course I made even more difficult by choosing a fairly unconventional design idea for the sacrificial tower, but overall I am very happy with this build and I hope you all enjoyed it. As always, you'll find all the links to my Twitch, Discord, Twitter, Patreon and NordVPN discounts in the description below, along with credit for the music used in this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, I put out at least two videos a week, so there's always plenty of content to come. If you have any suggestions for future builds, I would love to hear them in the comments below. As always, a massive thanks to our patrons Sammy, Sadialot, Randar, Connor, Blue Ivy, Velma, Torn and Eagle Rose. Again, thank you very much for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.